Hi everybody, I'm Mike Nelson. Well, more of the same scattered storms with some strong winds and brief rain. It will stay hot through the weekend, but cooler weather next week and more moisture coming our way next week, which will be some good news for us. Here's the pattern across the country. The main storm track still to the north of us, but we do have scattered storms that develop in the hot, dry air that continues to cover much of the west. There's just enough moisture to spark those storms. By early in the morning, we'll have mostly clear skies and another mild start. Your weekend will start with lows around 70 in the Grand Valley and mostly 60s on the eastern plains with 40s and 50s in the mountains. Front Range area, 54 at Winter Park, 55 at Keystone, 64 downtown Denver. And we start with a quiet start today, a mild morning by midday. Some clouds start to build. And in the afternoon, we get some of those scattered, strong, gusty storms that will produce wind and lightning and some areas of locally heavy rain and hail, especially a little east of downtown Denver. Temperatures back into the 90s again, low to mid 90s expected, 70s and 80s in the mountains and triple digits out west and near 100 down toward the Pueblo area. Looking ahead to the forecast, we're calling for the hot weather scattered storm Saturday and not much change over the weekend. The hot weather continues to cover much of the central United States, but by the time we get to early next week, things will shift a little bit. A bit of more of an increase in monsoon moisture coming in, and that's going to bring lower temperatures and a better chance of showers and thunderstorms, with the readings dropping back into the 80s next week and storms likely each afternoon.